Hi, I'm Mike from Mike's uh, Tractor Parts, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate the rebuilding of a Marvel Shebler TSX type carburetor. And this will be done in um, a couple of uh, videos. Uh, this first one here will be the disassembly of it, and I'll talk about it a little bit uh, so you know what's going on. But at any rate, uh, you can find uh, parts for. Uh, most tractors at uh, uh, Mike's Tractor Parts or uh, shortened version be Mike's Ag, AG, Mike's Ag .com. Uh, Go there and uh, we do specialize in carburetor parts. Um, <clears throat> this is a sister site to a uh, uh, Mike's Carburetor Parts. So I made a ton of videos for that one also. It's a, uh, uh, that's for other types of uh, cars, trucks, uh, uh, industrial that type of thing anyhow uh, I have a separate site just for tractors they're kind of unique so at any rate uh, <clears throat> enough commercialism so here we have this uh, TSX carburetor and I'll show you where the tag is the tag is right here and it's a brass tag and if yours is rivet on like this one there's a good chance it'll still be there and it says TSX 770 and that's the carburetor number and that's what you need uh, if you put that in my search box, uh, uh, it'll come up with the correct kit uh, for this carburetor. Um, I have all the carburetor numbers uh, programmed in there, help you find the right kit. And that's uh, that's all that matters. You know, these tractors, uh, what's it been, probably 60 years on or more, and um, uh, farmers tended to uh, swap carburetors a lot. Uh, uh, Zenith... Uh, Carter, they, well all the companies, they made uh, a ton of replacement carburetors. So the chance of having the original carburetor that came out with their tractor uh, is probably not that great. So be sure you uh, home in on that uh, carburetor number and you won't have any problems at all. Alright, so let's start disassembling this. This is your uh, adjustable jet. Now there's uh, three types of the TSX. There's a Type A with a fixed jet, won't have an adjustment uh, <clears throat> out here. Uh, there's a Type B, which this one is, and this has the adjustable jet, which we'll remove and uh, put it in the uh, box. And uh, <clears throat> then there's a Type C that has a, a smaller adjustable jet. Uh, at any rate, this is the Type uh, B. If yours is a little bit different than this, don't worry about it. You'll get the idea. So we took that out. We got the, the idle mixture screw here. Um, now I have this uh, plastic uh, cookie tray that I found and I use it when I take apart my carburetors. It uh, tends to uh, keep things collected that falls on my floor and it goes into a black hole so to speak. So the next thing is uh, I'll take the uh, float bowl and the throttle body uh, part here and uh, I tried to loosen this stuff up before I started the video. I didn't want to spin the whole video on it. It's, a, it, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> so the, it, this had been sitting around a lot. So um, you know, I believe in having the right tools to do the, this kind of work. Otherwise, you, you're better off letting somebody else to do it. Um, these kind of carburetors with a cast iron, everything tends to seize in them, um, especially uh, if they've been sitting around a long time. So you know, you need a good impact. Uh, screwdriver for one thing and I keep one around and uh, uh, just for the, these type of things uh, now we're going to take the float off with a float pin and uh, you want to test your float and the way you do that is uh, heat up some water get it good and hot it doesn't have to boil just needs to be real hot and you immerse this into the water and if there's any leaks you'll see bubbles coming out of it sometimes it'll come out like a jet spray um, so if you don't see any leaks you're good to go these are pretty hardy they made, uh, made them out of uh, good brass in the, in the old days. We do carry new ones, incidentally. Uh, we're going to take out the needle and seat. <clears throat> Try and get a good uh, wide bladed screwdriver uh, when you take these out. And again, uh, what I had to do with this one was, uh, uh, and, you know, you could do it with a screwdriver, although I don't like banging on screwdrivers. Just, uh, when you get things that are stuck, bang on it a few times, and uh, that tends to loosen them up, and that really helps. Don't, don't, uh, you know, get the right tool so you don't strip everything out. Uh, let's see. Here. 
hopefully I got all my tools here that I need got this plug here we're going to take out because we want to get that passage there clean and um, that's part of the the main fuel where the main fuel goes let's see okay so also we have this uh, uh, idle jet right here you may have an equalizer jet that goes on I think this side uh, so if you have an extra one uh, don't sweat it again be very careful taking these out you can uh, mess them up pretty easy <coughs> you'll get a lot of, you'll be surprised at the parts that come in our carburetor kits but uh, uh, you know we can't work miracles so uh, be careful alright so we're going to take out the throttle plate and uh, what you do here the first thing I always do is I make a little scratch mark on the plate and one on the throttle body here uh, because I want to get it lined up exactly the way it was because it's all kind of wore in and, and uh, it's going to shut real good. If you get it backwards, you may have an air leak and be just like a vacuum leak. Um, if you get all done you got and you can't seem to get it idle down, uh, one thing I suspect always is throttle plate. Did I get it back on there right? Now, uh, also, uh, a lot of times the uh, threaded end of the screw will be mushroomed and a lot of times from the factory and you want to get your little Dremel tool in there and grind them down flat don't try to take uh, your screw out uh, until you do that um, because and, and also if your screw seems to be stuck also grind it down otherwise you're going to break the screw in there um, in this case it probably wouldn't matter too much because I believe the kit comes with a new uh, throttle shaft which is pretty cool I wish my uh, classic car uh, kits were like that they just don't make them anymore so there's your throttle shaft also uh, take digital pictures as you go along uh, I do it uh, you know I do work on so many carburetors I just can't remember them anymore and uh, especially with things like this because you want to know how uh, what position this was in when you put it back together uh, otherwise you're going to spend a, a lot of time trying to figure it all out so I take digital pictures of it I want to know how things went just in case uh, keep in mind there's no guarantee that the last person put this thing together right and you got your little uh, bushing there it goes in there a uh, little brass bushing you take that out and so anyhow that's the uh, uh, throttle body slash uh, float uh, float assembly and that's all apart. We're going to be able to get that nice and clean now. Everything's open. I'll take out our, uh, never think what you call these, call them Venturis. But, <clears throat> um, all right, so now we're going to work on the uh, uh, float bowl. And uh, first thing we're going to do is remove the main nozzle. And uh, I use a, let's see, what is this size? This is a 3 8 deep socket to get in there and uh, that'll take that out easy enough nice thing about some of these old tractor uh, carburetors they don't have a lot of rubber in them and uh, ethanol uh, can sure mess up rubber so uh, that's that's the nice part. Here's your uh, drain plug for the fuel bowl. They're almost always stuck because unfortunately uh, the the uh, people own tractors when they're done with them, uh, they don't drain the gasoline. Uh, they leave these in. They get stuck again. You may have to hit it with a hammer. Get a get a good. Uh, let's see. This one's a seven sixteenth. I just used a three eighths drive ratchet on it and it came out okay. And we got another little um, drain plug here that's brass goes in here you want to get all this stuff out so you can get the uh, passages clean now this is a uh, a fuel kind of a fuel drain strainer here and um, <clears throat> this one here is like brass so you don't want to take it out there's no replacement some of these are felt you take that out with it, it has a little clip in the felt you take it all out so you can get it good and clean these here you're just gonna have to get it uh, uh, get it clean blow through it and make sure it's all uh, open that's all you can do with them you really can't replace them so this choke here um, 
we'll take it apart but I think for now I'm gonna leave it um, and uh, I'll take it apart after I clean it be easier to handle it and all that and it'll clean just fine that way and then we'll take it apart but anyhow so that's it on uh, disassembling this and um, keep an eye out so here in the next uh, week or so I will uh, get this cleaned up and uh, start putting it back together and that'll be on a separate video so uh, you what you might want to do is subscribe to the uh, uh, YouTube and you'll automatically get notified uh, w when it comes out all right well thank you for watching and uh, we appreciate it if you buy your carburetor kits uh, from us go to mikesag.com and help support my videos thank you